This is step two. We've already adjusted camera one, got it well balanced, got the whites adjusted. The iris levels you can see are hitting 100% on the whites. Now we're going to do camera by camera over here. Typically we'll start, we're starting with camera five. And obviously the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to turn off auto iris. You're going to make sure that this gain, we've been running plus three gain on this. And we're going to open the iris uh, up. Now, one of the things I'm going to do to set this iris, and the other thing, actually back here, we're going to turn off auto white balance because it's already kind of captured that. So I'm going to turn that off. Autofocus should stay on. I'm going to go to the switcher. I've already got camera one, which is what we're balancing to, and camera five set up in preview. So all I have to do is hit cut, just keep rocking back and forth. Now if I do that, I'm rocking back and forth, you can see my camera one there and camera five. Well, five gain, it's, it's iris is way down. So we gotta open that up. And what we're gonna do is kind of match those waveforms. Well, that's pretty good right there. Unfortunately, this, ca this camera and this controller has a variable iris. This iris over here has click steps. So it's sometimes you won't be able to get it right on because it's in between a click step. But that's pretty close. You come back over to your cut and you're gonna rock this. I can tell that the whites are a little hotter. It's, you can see at the top here where it's, it's pushing against 100 and this one is not but it's in pretty close range. And I can see where that, that's happening. I don't know if you can see this, but that's blown out. And that is representative, hitting that 100 is why it's blown out. If I drop back the gain to three or to zero, I can't raise my iris enough. So I can't get my iris so that we have to run plus three and just get it as close as we can. So it may blow, just blow out just a little bit. So now I've got that. Let's take a look at our pedestals. Well, I don't have much pedestal control on this machine. Okay, I have detail control, but that's not I want what I want. But I do have red and I have blue. And what I'm doing is I'm making these look about the same. Now since it did an auto white balance when I was already sitting there, it should be pretty close. But here's what I'm going to do now is I'm going to rock between inputs using the cut button to see if the reds and greens look about the same and I'm looking here on this monitor I can see there's a probably just a little red richness in that that wood there that I can take up visually. Now all I have to do is go to my next camera. We'll do camera three. We'll put three up in preview here. And of course, I have to zoom three over to my sheet. Turn off all the iris. Go to a 3 dB gain. 
Now, let me switch over on the waveform monitor. All right. And probably some of you have already seen that blue's way out of line on this. If you actually take a look here on this screen, you can see that blue, that, that white, that color is kind of blue. So I've pretty much got the overall luminance set and my three colors I need to work with. So I'm going to turn off auto white balance and I'm going to bring the blue down. Matching that green waveform and red. Now I'm going to rock back between camera one and camera three with the cut button. So I'm looking at, of course, the, the shapes won't be the same, but the highlights where the colors are and everything and the brightness levels are about the same. I'm looking here on this reference monitor and the white looks pretty much the same color. So then you would go through the other the other cameras. The obvious thing is with the cameras that are back facing such as six, uh, you can't do that with because we have a different type of or color lighting in the audience and that's where six is normally in the audience. So don't white balance it to the stage because that will throw the color off in the audience. Uh, probably, but what we do uh, is on camera four, we do use some of camera four to cover the stage. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, I don't have anybody down there, but typically we should turn this sheet, whoever is down there should turn this sheet toward camera four. Preset camera four on the switcher. Do the same thing, turn the auto iris off, turn the gain to three. It's just right in the between. And I can tell you why. That should be at the top, but that sheet is not facing directly at the camera. So the light is being reflected away from the camera, not into the camera. So I think that those waveforms would be higher at this particular setting if the sheet was face forward. Uh, turn off auto white balance. And then we do the same thing, bring the blue down just a tad. And then I'm going to rock back and forth with the cut button. So the whites look pretty close. All right. That's matching the robotics to camera one.